Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to a, another vlog. As you can see, the corn and the sunflower are both ready to harvest. So I think the plan is to harvest the sunflower first because the sunflower's price is not bad right now. It's not great, but it's not bad, whereby the corn is actually the worst it can possibly be at this point. Uh, and it's... Um, pro... What's the word here? Um, it's projected to be very good in January. So, obviously, we don't have a silo. So, my plan here is to harvest the sweet, the, the sunflower, uh, get that sold, and then harvest the corn, and hopefully all of the corn we get can fit into the trailer. If we can do that, then we can store the trailer and sell it when it's, you know, a better price, I think. That's the plan, anyway. We'll see how far we get. If we do end up getting a little bit more corn than we than we can fit in the trailer, then we might sell that little bit extra. Or we might have to, I don't know, think about getting a silo um, fairly quickly, which will mean it will be more expensive. So not ideal. Obviously, as you guys can hear, my voice is a little bit better. I am still coughing from time to time, especially if I talk a lot, which obviously I'm doing right now. And um, it is... A little bit uncomfortable, but that's okay. It is it is workable. I can at least, um, you know, do the vlog. And since I have got the work to do, I've got to start harvesting today. Um, luckily, at least that is that is workable. This is this is literally one of the longest lingering illnesses or sicknesses I've ever had. I think my girlfriend seemed to think that the way it started was just a normal flu, and then that turned into like I don't know, like a chest infection or pneumonia or something something not ideal but it is what it is we can't do anything about it now um i don't really want to get antibiotics just because i want to try and allow the immune system to you know adapt and all that stuff so yeah we'll um we'll keep going the way we are right now so i'm going to go to the dealership and have a look at which uh, harvesters they have on available today for lease. He did say that he's got about five, but I do need to hurry up. I need to get in there early this morning because as you can see, all those fields over there are also ready to harvest. So won't be ideal if we're, you know, one of the last ones in and we miss the, you know, the better deals, I guess. Right, so let's jump in here and let's get going. Obviously, I'm going to try and not cough in your guys' ears and, you know, sniff as little as I can and try and protect you guys from all of that uh, grossness. But I might, especially while I'm harvesting, I might miss the mute button, you know, and not be able to mute it in time. So the camera luckily has, I, I've put on a, a little, uh, an extra mic and this this extra mic the like lapel mic thing has got a uh, a quick mute button so it allows for that but that uh like i said might not happen in time so i'm going to try and protect you guys as much as i can but i'm not making any promises that i will never cough in your ears or never sniff while you know talking to you <laughs> i'll do my best right so Oh, they never actually put away the trailers, which is quite interesting. But that is okay. That's their problem. Although, actually, somebody else might be might be looking at it. Right, so I think... Walk here. Because I think it's this first, first building. I'm not 100% sure. I'm fairly certain that's where we go for, for all vehicle-related stuff. Let's have a look. Right, so I'm going to quickly chat to Chad. Uh, although he does sales, he doesn't do the leasing. I don't know who does the leasing, it might still be Chad. But yeah, I'm going to quickly chat to whoever does the leasing, and then uh, I'll see you guys when I've decided on what to get. All right, so $3,825 for everything we need right now, uh, which is the harvester and a fairly small header. Uh, it is... Uh, there are... Some bigger headers and some roughly in this price range uh, harvesters, but there are, you know, $20,000 more to buy. And then that would mean that it's at least like a, a grand and a half more to rent, to lease. 
actually, because uh, it's not really renting, I guess. And then uh, the headers aren't as cheap. So this is one of the cheapest headers, which is why I went for this one. So yeah, I think it's uh, it's for the best that we went for this one. Um, it is it is workable. Uh, it's going to be good for us. It's got a, about a 9,000 liter capacity, if I'm not mistaken, uh, or 9,000, 9 cubic meter, something like that. I can't remember exactly, something like that. Um, so it should, one of these loads should fit into our trailer, if I'm not mistaken, if I remember correctly. Been a couple of uh, weeks since buying the trailer, so... Yeah, I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, anyway, uh, that should all fit in the trailer. And then, you know, for especially, I'm, see, I'm thinking specific, specifically when we get to like the corn phase. The sunflowers I'm not too worried about because, you know, we will we'll be selling that immediately. And then, so we'll probably fill the... Fill the trailer up. Once the trailer is filled, we'll go sell that and then come back, harvest the rest and all that stuff uh, or do it that way. And then once we've got the corn, we'll go until we fill the trailer. We'll probably store the trailer and then sell. Like I said earlier, we'll, we'll then probably carry on harvesting and then sell whatever's in the harvester itself. I think that's the best plan think unless it's like three trailer loads worth you know what i mean like unless we we get to the end we we fill the trailer uh, we fill the harvester and then there's still like a quarter of the field left then it might be worth maybe waiting or maybe getting a silo of some sort and you know selling that later on i don't know like we could probably get a silo for about 20 to thirty thousand, which won't be a massive silo but it would be big enough to at least hold all of what we harvest um, corn-wise today. Whether they can put it in in the next couple of days or not, that's uh, another question. I mean, these are fairly mobile silos. They're literally just like a drum. with It, it comes with everything you need. And they just bring it in on a truck, put it down. Uh, they, they, I think they have to do a foundation. I think. They might might not have to there might might just be one you can stand down if you know what i mean Ooh. the question is will this actually i don't i'm not going to go through the gate uh i don't think this will fit through the gate with the uh, with the header or the you know what i mean right i'm gonna quickly turn in here we're going to start with these two fields but i want to go get the trailer first and i actually wanted to check if we've uh got uh weed in weeds in this field it doesn't look like it it looks pretty good almost ready to harvest actually yeah this is almost ready to harvest which is really good right so i'm gonna go grab the tractor get the trailer hooked up and then we're probably gonna put the tractor and trailer i don't know maybe like between the two fields should work that'll be fine we'll get these two knocked out and then this all should go into the trailer. It should all fit into the trailer. Uh, probably and then some. And then we'll drive up there with the harvester. We'll put the trailer down here somewhere. Right. I think that's going to be the best plan. Because um, I want to get the trailer close. But not in the way. And yeah. I think, I think that is the best. Between the two fields. I don't want to put it on the grass field. I don't want to damage the grass field. And we don't need it there. Between the two fields will be best, because it's close. I can then just keep moving between the two. Um, yeah, this shouldn't take too long. Especially the first two fields definitely shouldn't take too long to harvest. They are very small fields, so it should actually be pretty quick. Uh, and then we can actually, once we've done all of this, we can connect those two fields. And then we'll probably, once we've done... I think once we've we've hot, we've got the grass. Sorry, I'm gonna cough. Once we've cut the grass in that main field or that that first field, and we've connected all three, then we'll probably 
replow it just to make sure we've we've got the best quality um, soil or recultivate it at least. Uh, pick the stones, plant grass again. So replant that field. And yeah, that's going to be the best option. Then we know all that whole field is going to be one and it's going to work. Uh, it's going to be harvesting and all that stuff at the same time, I think. Um, and I feel like we should be able to cut the grass over there in the next like couple of weeks. So let's put this down here, roughly in the middle. That should be fine. And not quite in the middle, actually. The nose of the tractor might be a little bit more in the middle, but yeah. Right, so I'm going to actually get the drone popped up and get these two fields knocked out. And these two fields knocked out. So for now, sit back, relax, and enjoy the ride. Huh. All right, guys. So uh, interesting thing. I'm sure you guys probably knew this way before I even started trying to harvest. But uh, I leased initially the wrong header. Uh, luckily, Chad is a nice dude and he knows that, you know, I'm not new to arable really, or I am new to arable. So he said, it's fine, just bring it back um, and we'll refund you that. And then you pay for whatever, whatever the, 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 the actual corn and sunflower harvester header is which we've got now <laughs> so yeah i'm sure you guys have been screaming down your uh tvs and phones and whatever you're watching this on at me to uh go back and get the right header and i'm sorry i caused you some stress there but at least you know this is how we learn and yeah i mean that's the first time i've ever had to lease any any corn sla any any freaking um, apart from the, the, the barley, or the oat, we did the other day, I think that was barley, um, but that was literally just get whatever, yeah, and that, to be, to be fair, I could have gra grabbed the wrong one there as well, I didn't even realize there were two different headers, but I now know the clear difference in what it looks like, so, yeah, that shouldn't happen again, and at least it didn't cost us any extra money, it cost us a little bit of time, but it's not the end of the world. Right, so I'm going to actually just drive there now, uh, get the drone up, get the show on the road, and get those two fields knocked out. So, again, for now, sit back, relax, and enjoy the ride. I am worn, I am weary Travel Midwest, I am held by the forest where I go for rest And washed by the waters of Lake Michigan And wherever I go, I will return again to my home The blessed Midwest Alright, so 2,008 liters, that's not a lot of money uh, But that's just the first two fields so it's not the end of the world. At this point, to be honest, I'm kind of thinking that we'll be able to fit everything in here. And I'm probably going to try and do that. We'll go sell it with the trailer. So we will put it in the trailer and go sell it with that. But uh, I'm going to just carry on harvesting for now. I'm just going to move the trailer a little bit closer. And then we'll carry on with that. Uh, let's turn this off. Right, so... Yeah, um... So a little bit disappointing. So current price, I'm thinking we're looking at about three thousand dollars, maybe just under, which almost covers the harvester and all that. So whatever we make on the corn in the future will obviously be on top of that. So yeah, um, we're probably going to get maybe another thousand five hundred out of that field. Uh, maybe even 2,000. I kind of feel like it's similar size to both of those combined. But I'm not 100% sure, to be honest. It's uh, hard to tell. Uh, I don't know what the hectridge and all that stuff. It's all in the paperwork, but I don't know off of my, you know, off my head. Right, so let's get this one knocked out. 
another time lapse i know sorry guys um but sit back relax and enjoy the ride Alright, that is all done. Uh, 4,377 litres. So we actually got over 2,000 litres from this field. So obviously that could be yield as well, but I do think this field is bigger than those two combined. Uh, I've been, while I've been, uh, you know, manning the drone and all that stuff, I've been having a look at maybe how we could expand this, and it's not much way, many ways we can do that. Um, I'm kind of thinking to keep these two fields separate as well. Because then we can, you know, we it's a little bit easier for, I want to say, um, not command and control, because it's not the military, but, you know, like, um, um, admin-wise, it'd be easier if we know that this field, or field X goes, you know, is wheat, so we can get straw, field Y is for hay, field whatever is for grass or silage you know what i mean so um we will probably for the time being since we've only got the or since we will only have the the three fields uh we will probably as in so let me just explain here so this these three will become one field and we'll have this field and then we'll have that field and since we've only got these three fields then one will probably be silage and grass, while the other one will be, you know, hay and maybe straw or straw and, and hay. Something like that. I'm not sure um, how the mixed ration works yet. I don't know what the ratios are. I'm kind of thinking straw probably is the highest. Maybe grass. I don't know. I'll have to look into it. I'll, I'll read up a little bit and see if I can I can figure that out. Um, right, so I need to get the pipe out here. Um, ah, oh, there we go. Right, oh, that's happening. So all of this should fit in the trailer. Not 100% sure, but it should. And then once this is done, we'll go sell this at the farmer's market. We've been there before. There are some other places, but the farmer's market currently uh, is offering the best price. So we're going to do that. And then... Off past two now. So we'll probably... Probably end up uh, calling it there for the day. Depending on how long this takes. Right. Farmer's market is over there, if I'm not mistaken. Let's go there. I'm just going to go... Actually, I can just cut over here. Right. I'm going to drive to the farmer's market. Ooh. Sorry, guy. I'm going to drive to the farmer's market. And uh, I'll see you guys when I'm there. And... Got it all sold. All right, $5,834. So obviously that covers the expense of the harvest and then some, or the harvester and then some. So the harvester and the header was about 3800 So we've essentially made $2,000 on that. It's not a lot, I know, but uh, at least the fields aren't wasted. And, you know, we've also got still the corn money to, to go on top of that. So 
we will probably be making maybe four or five thousand uh, dollars total from this harvest uh, which for fields that we didn't control we don't know if there was fertilizer uh, some of them had a little bit of weeds on you know can't complain about that i think i'm quite happy with that so yeah yeah it's a uh, it is quite a, a late in the afternoon and also there is rain forecast so we're probably not going to be harvesting the the corn today unfortunately that means we will be charged a daily fee on the harvester but that's okay it's it's going to be a couple of hundred dollars maybe 200 to 300 dollars so it's not the end of the world it's it would have been great if we could avoid that but it's going to rain uh it is definitely strongly advised to not harvest during uh rain as in that lowers the yield quite a lot because you lose uh, quite a lot of what uh what you could potentially harvest and you know it's also messy especially with corn with the leaves and all that stuff it's just not not a good option so we'll probably do this tomorrow or the day after hopefully it doesn't rain tomorrow and we can do it tomorrow uh otherwise it'll be the day after or day after that but We'll get it done as soon as possible. Obviously, I'll take you along, you guys along for the ride with that. And then what I might do in the meantime, since we, we can't do much now, I might have a look at a silo. Um, you know, I'm going to keep everything out here for now. It's not... Uh, let me just take the... Actually put the arm back. Don't want to just leave it like that. That's... Uh, a little bit more dangerous you know the pipe isn't as tough as the rest of the body you know, if it hails or something the pipe can get damaged so we want to at least protect it as much as we can at least this way most of it is under that little thing there right if it does hail anywhere else i'll see if i can move stuff around but for now i'm going to keep it there it shouldn't rain too long but long enough to not be able to harvest for the rest of the day right i'm gonna have a look at the laptop and see if I can find a silo, see if they can install that in the next couple of days. Uh, even if it's not the next couple of days, if we can store it in the trailer, you know, for a week or two and then put it in the silo, that'll be fine as well. I don't really want to be storing it in the trailer for three months, you know, because we might need the trailer and then we're stuck. So I think we do need a, a silo. Anyway, that is going to be the end of this vlog, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, smash the like button, subscribe if you're new to the channel. Thank you so much for watching. I hope uh, in the next couple of days or weeks, my voice will be better, so back to normal, and it's not as husky and annoying for you guys. So thank you for the support nonetheless, and I'll see you all in the next vlog. See ya.